Hello everybody, it's tea time number nine, the recording is in and we're starting. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello Sergey, hello Waldemar. So Hi. Hey everyone. Yeah, can hear you well. So as usual, let's begin with the latest project updates, like what we've been up to in September and when we can move on to the questions. All right. So, yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in uh, for this tea time. So, as, as usual, um, I'm starting with a wrap up of uh, September last month, um, where we have, uh, first of all, issued a very interesting white paper together with OVH, Cloud, and Intel. Uh, we have worked for a couple of months on, on that white paper uh, to be finally released. Um, it was long awaited. And I think it also shows the, the, the high quality and potential of integrity being recognized by OVH Cloud and Intel to reshaping the, the, the blockchain technology market. A very, very nice uh, piece of work. If you haven't read it yet, um, I, I can recommend to do so. Um, besides that, um, we have been recognized by the top 100 Swiss Startup Award, uh, and we we have won the security vertical by public voting. So we have been attending the award ceremony uh, in person in September to to get uh, the award. And Alain, our co-founder and CTO was visiting Lisbon again this year for um, the big Polkadot developer conference called SubZero, where he was presenting a use case to enhance privacy in cross-chain messaging and uh, untraceable credentials uh, with TEs. And of course, we were also uh, producing, as usual, some educational content around TEEs, uh, so we have published uh, two other videos uh, around the security principles and uh, TE limitations. On the tech side, uh, we have been releasing the Integrity SDK version uh, 0.13.1 uh, as a dev release, which will basically include uh, multi-chain support so we can now talk to, to other chains uh, in an easy manner, which is quite powerful. And uh, yeah, I mean, what you have already noticed is of course our new fresh and uh, yeah, updated look. So we have released our new website with a refreshed uh, logo. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying this and likes it uh, that had been also, quite a lot of work uh, that has to be uh, that have been done over the past uh, couple of months. So I'm super glad that uh, this one is now finally released as well. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it mostly um, from from September. I guess we can move on to the questions if there is nothing to add uh, from your side, Sergey. No, oh, yeah. Uh, September was quite busy. <laughs> we were talking 24-9 in Korea Blockchain Week. So yeah, but in Singapore, we met with, I think, major um, companies in, uh, you know, infrastructure companies like Alibaba, Tencent, uh, ByteDance, etc. And we discussed potential collaboration with Integrity. Uh, it was quite successful. So, and we have Right now, in our mind, we have to deal with that. Uh, absolutely happy with <laughs> website. It's it's been a way, but yeah, we did it. We made it, and that's that's actually really good. And I'm very glad. Thank you. Let's move to the questions. Thank you, guys. So, first one is going to be. What are the limitations of integrity nodes, like code size, request size, timeouts, memory, etc.? Because uh, the user was checking docs, but doesn't seem like we're mentioned anywhere. Um, so I can't give a concrete answer to the 
requested details about code size, request size, timeouts, memory, and stuff like that. I mean, the general limitations of uh, integrity sidechains on layer two is a block uh, time around 300 milliseconds and around 2,000 transactions per second uh, per sidechain at 300 millisecond block time. So that's uh, one of the limitations. And uh, regarding the code size um, for block production, I think it should be the, the standard size that every uh, parachain is using for committing blocks on, on Polkadot because they they are finally being committed to the to the relay chain. So, um, but in terms of numbers, um, I, I would have to double check with the tech team to to give more profound answers. We can we can deliver that afterwards um, if interesting for someone. <clears throat> All right, so I think next one is following. Uh, will the team develop some sort of dashboard where we can monitor the nodes, like attestations as well, any other stats for the network in real time? Um, well, first of all, we still have the subscan, which is kind of monitoring some things uh, in the network on layer one like the token transfers, extrinsics, uh, token holders, uh, obviously. And we are, we have, by the way, already released uh, a first developer version of the attestation dashboard, um, which is included uh, in the Gitbook documentation for the attestier. Um, so we can share that as well. It doesn't look nice at the moment, uh, but it is showing some data, at least for remote attestation. So we will have a dedicated dashboard for attestations. And of course, we will also be able to um, to monitor in the future more details about what is happening on layer two on the side chains. But um, we haven't built anything yet. So this is something for the future. All right, so next one I think is the most important one for this year. How are the DEX listings coming along? Uh, regarding the DEX, uh, there are some major delays um, uh, in in the timeline. So Parity is heavily working on the native DEX on Polkadot, right, and hasn't released it yet. So we are also waiting for for this one to become available um, and hopefully it will uh, this year but uh, at the moment we're not really able to to give any concrete date of of a possible listing there so it really depends on the progress that uh, parity is currently doing with the asset hub on uh, polkadot all right so let's move on for the future plans a little bit. So what are the next milestones for the team to reach? So the, the next milestones would be definitely um, more around the the treasury. So we will, in the, in the next weeks, work more on the concepts of the treasury and the treasury grants to, to release also some bounties uh, for developers. So it, it will be more community focused, but we will still work as well uh, on obviously releasing new versions of the sidechain SDK, making it more robust for uh, production usage and also working more on the privacy sidechain for all uh, parachain teams so that we can launch those um, as well on Polkadot, Kusama, and uh, other parachains who are interested uh, in this technology. Right, so next two questions are about the tier tokens. So first one is how many tokens were already burned and what is the further unlock schedule? Um, I don't have the exact numbers uh, of tokens burned here, but um, in in general, um, if you combine all the transaction fees that have been paid, I think we have at the moment around 14,000 transactions on 
on layer one and um, every transaction is uh, uh, yeah well a fraction of a, of a tier token right so it's not that much at the moment so the the real magic will start with uh, with side chains being deployed in a productive manner so then the the fees are going up and the burning will accelerate as well so at the moment it's just a few thousand tier tokens um, which are burned so far I would say and regarding the uh, unlock schedule um, the only token unlocks that are happening over the next course of the months are basically <clears throat> the founders tokens um, so they are unlocked every day still for for the next months and also the polkadot parachain auctions which are going to be unlocked over the course of the next few months until I think June, July, something like that, 2024. So those are the the token unlocks so far for the next months. All right, so I've got a very last question prepared. So guys, if you have any questions during the AMA session, you can drop them now. So last one is, uh, could you please give us an insight into the latest happenings around tier token? Uh, and the user is mentioned in October specifically. Uh, around the tier token or is it around the project? No, it says around the tier itself. I think it's about mm. the price performance or something like that. Well, um, if we look at the price performance, obviously um, it's it was quite stable uh, over the course of the uh, last few weeks, right? It jumped uh, slightly up and down and is kind of still more or less, uh, I mean, stable in, in terms of the, the market is volatile, the token is going slightly up and down. And, um, well, there's not much to, to hope for, I, I think, in, September, uh, in, in October and uh, November. So everyone is basically waiting for, for more traction on-chain. This is definitely something that will come in the next few weeks and uh, also a potential bull run in 2024, right? Um, before that, um, I, I don't think that there will be super much action, price action on, on the token side. All right, so I'm checking the channels now. I don't see any more questions in live channel or AMA question channels. So when I think we're pretty much ready to wrap it up for today. So guys, if you have something to add. Nope, nothing from my side. All yeah. right, so I guess yeah. we, we can close the session today. Thanks everyone for everyone to tune in and have a good week. Sure. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you for having Thanks. us. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in today and the recording. We will be available tomorrow, as usual, with a new Z-Liquest about the AMA session. So see you guys next time.